Hi and welcome to the quadratic regression video, um, part of the polynomial function series. Uh, in this video, I want to reference the last three pages in our notes. So um, in the materials, you've got the quadratic regressions notes. Um, this is the example of applications um, kicking a football. So in this case here, we have not been given a function um, that defines the path of the ball. We've been given data points, which is typical for what you would be doing um, in a laboratory scenario, be it you know a biology lab or an athletic therapy kind of a lab, but you'd be taking observations over time um, and plotting them and trying to draw a conclusion. So this is really powerful stuff that we're doing here. Um, this is somebody who has watched a football be kicked. And so you can imagine, you know, um, that it's going to be going up and then kind of coming back down. So they've got their time values and they know the height of where the football was in the air um, over time. So what I've done here is I've taken these values, top values being X values, these being Y values, and I'm going to be plotting them as a scatter plot. Uh, the tool that we use is um, this Planet Calc um, that is an online um, function approximation and regression analysis. But basically, I type in the X values and I put a space in between them, so no commas. Um, make sure that there's just one single space between your values, and then the Y values go into their own separate box. And this um, regression tool will then plot those X, Y values out as, um, it's these blue dots, uh, they, they plot them out like that. And then in this case, because this is a great tool, it's got like about eight different kind of functions that it can give you. And I think if we look at the ones that look like lines, these ones here, they're nowhere near those dots. They aren't um, even close. So what I would recommend that you do is just get rid of, like turn these guys off. Like we know this is a quadratic regression question, so we'll leave that on and I'll just turn off all these other ones so that we're not trying to find those. Um, it might be nice to have like lots of decimals um, as part of our function as well. So you can dial this up, you can dial it all the way up to 20 if you'd like, and then calculate. Um, so we're doing the quadratic regression of these points. Notice we've only got one line now. Um, so it's got the points here and it's trying to draw a line, a, an approximation for um, how this football could be. Um, and what we've got here, well, that's a lot of decimals. Let's dial it back down. <laughs> That looks a little bit more healthier. Uh, the more decimals you have, the more accurate and definitely the more precise you you, you have. So, okay, let's go with eight. <laughs> um, so this is now our uh, function uh, based on the data. And the function is this yellow line that, that we have here. It's sort of your line of best fit. We know um, how closely it fits that data based on the correlation coefficient. Um, another name for this is chi-squared or r-squared. Um, this is saying 0 0.93 um, is the r-squared value for this function. So we could take this, um, this function here that they've got us. You can write it down by hand if you want. Uh, I prefer on my laptop to go control C and we pop it into um, Desmos. So if you paste it into Desmos, this is what you get. You get a straight line. Even if you like super duper zoom out, it's still straight forever. Um, so that's not good. We need to tell it, hey, this is not X times two. This is x to the power of 2. So 
If you do a shift six, it'll change it up to the power of two. So that's shift six. Now we can see we've got our quadratic function. And this is demonstrating the football actually going up and then coming down. So we can see a vertex up here. We've got our roots or intercepts as well. Um, so with Desmos, the, the main trick is make sure you change the um, square. With Meta Calculator, when you paste it in, it also, again, doesn't want to graph it because it looks like X times two. So you hit Shift six to put that caret in there. And um, oh, we have to also, on Meta Calculator, it's a little bit tricky. Um, we have to change the negative signs. It's like it's a different character. Um, So those negative signs um, just kind of get imported in uh, pretty funny um, from the Planet Calc uh, tool. So we've got our function now plotted. Uh, you know, I think you'll decide which tool you want to use, um, but it'll be dictated by the questions. So let's go back to the questions. We found the correlation coefficient, and it was 0 0.93. Um, that is found here in MetaCalc. Uh, the quadratic regression equation, great. We're going to write this down. Um, how many decimals do you need? Lots, like, you know, the more the better. Um, so that, that would be great. Graph the data, find the maximum height. So how high is it at its highest? And in terms of our graph, I'll go back to decimals. This is the literally the football going up and coming down where the x-axis is time and the y-axis is height. This doesn't exist. This is like negative time and this is like the ball going into the ground. So in terms of this real life application, these don't apply. Um, but it's asking us how high does it possibly get? Well, this is going to be our highest point, And we can see that the um, y value is 31.584. So 31.584, we can refer back to see if that's okay, meters. And that's the highest that this um, regression equation is giving us. Um, the time that it occurs, again, we could look at that and say it's after 3.89 seconds that that happens. So it's coming from the values of the vertex. And that's where Desmos is really um, comes out on top because uh, Meta Calculator does not allow you to, like you can go here and just hover, um, but you can't get that exact number whereas decimals does allow you to get that exact number. What is the height of the ball three seconds after it is kicked? Three seconds after it is kicked. So with that, we are given x. So time, or the, the x axis is time. So it's saying three seconds after it was kicked, how high is it? Um, and the only way to solve this using decimals is to go in and get your table and tell it that you want to know when x is 3, what is y. And it's telling us that when x is 3, y is 29.7. So it'll be 29.7 meters high, probably this point right here, um, when there we go, 29.7 meters high when x is 3. On the meta calculator, if you want to do this question, uh, we go to table and we get it to create the table. And, you know, you could you can just scroll. I think this was set from my previous video, but you could just say start at 3 and it's telling you that the football will be at 29.7 meters. So similar way of doing it with both of the tools. 
when does the football reach a height of 25 meters? This is where Desmos fails us because we don't have a way to get a line across here or to say, hey, Y is 25, what is X? Um, you know, there's, you can mess around with this and try to guess and check, um, but that's not really the most effective way of doing it. So the best tool to use for when you're given Y and you want X is the meta calculator. We'll go back to equations and we're gonna draw a line across at 25 meters. So this blue line represents the tw 25 meters. And we're gonna ask for the intersection of our function or the football and the 25 meter mark. And well, I guess we have to zoom in on this. There we go. So now we can see exactly that at 2.19 seconds and at 5.59 seconds, the football is crossing that 25 meter mark. So um, that's where the meta calculator is really gonna shine is when you're given Y and you're trying to find X from your, um, from your values. Let's check, okay. And at what time does the ball drop to the ground? Interesting. So I feel like this last question is really like a reading um, and interpreting. So when does the ball drop to the ground? Well, it's going up and it's coming back down. So at what point are we coming here to this point where the height is zero? So 7.6 seconds or 7.622 seconds. Definitely please show those decimal points. You're using really precise tools. Don't write this down as eight seconds. Eight seconds to me means you're guessing. You're not using the tool to its full capacity. So you wanna show that precision, show all those um, decimal, decimal places. So that's great. That one shows it's there. Um, in terms of using Meta Calculator, if this is your choice, um, just gonna get us back out here. I'm going to go and tell our equation where that y is zero. So the blue line is actually on the x-axis now, and I'm going to intersect those two um, those two. Uh, lines so we'll plot those points of intersections and i can see that here i've got 7.6 so um that's our time uh when the football crosses or hits the ground when the the height is zero so in terms of regressions uh regressions allow us to input data points and to draw a line of best fit and approximate the function and get a sense of how close it is. Um, this is a strong correlation, but it's not a great correlation. Um, 0 0.99, 0 0.97, those ones are significantly better. Um, a correlation coefficient of 1.0 means you have a perfect fit. Um, where the line is exactly going through every single point on the scatter plot. Um, if you're looking at something with a 0 0.8 correlation, it means that um, there's probably no correlation um, that uh, that the line and the plots uh, and the points do not match, and that it's really not a function that models the data. So correlation coefficient is a big is a big deal. It, we would like this to be a lot closer than it is.